One example that I use with students when we're looking at exponential functions is offering them an amount of money that they would get paid every day and asking them to compare between two options and choose the one that they think would be better before they actually look into the mathematics behind it. So option number one might be that I'll pay you a penny today, tomorrow I'll pay you two cents and doubling it each day there forward. The other option would be I'll pay you $100 today and then an additional $100 each day thereafter. And asking students to first just make a choice, which one would you choose? And most students will go the $100 a day because that sounds great, especially to a middle schooler. But when you actually go in and look at the math that's going on and what's happening in the exponential growth of the other option, students are blown away by how quickly that penny turns into a lot of money.